welcome you back here to Hernando, Mississippi. As you may hear fireworks in the distance, Hernando Tigers take the field. Leopards preparing to do the same. Coach Plum, we talked about just how big of a task it's gonna be in the trenches tonight, offensive and defensive line. Therefore, we know we, uh, we make our money behind big number 76. Therefore, tonight, our isolated player of the game is gonna be junior. Vinny Winters, as we look for him to have a big night, open up some holes for Sed and Dupree and uh, hopefully Dante Cagle as well to get some running lanes. Yeah, when you start talking about – kind of cutting in and out there. When you start talking about the great offensive linemen that have come through the Malvern Leopard program, you're talking about the Gerald Skinners and you're talking about the Isaac Davises and the Ryan Smiths. I mean, we've had – the Anton the Allisons. I mean, we've we've had some really really good linemen come through here. Vinny Winters is one of those talents. He's already we just saw, I believe, last week got an offer from the University of Missouri. He's been sitting on one from the University of Arkansas. I think there's a college right here in the state of Mississippi that's an SEC school that's on the verge of offering. He's one of those great offensive linemen that's going to come through this program and is going to be remembered along with those other guys. So. Um, if we're going to win the football game tonight, he's going to have to own the left side of that line of scrimmage. And when you're a guy that's getting offers from SEC schools, you, you have a chance just to do that. And if we're, this is a great environment. I mean, their crowd is huge, you know. Yeah. And so, you know, this is if 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 we're going to come in here and we're going to play bully ball, which we like to do, we're going to do it behind big number 76. Well, I think Hernando won the toss and deferred, so Malvern will receive going from right to left on whatever device you choose to be taking us in on tonight. Jalen Dupree, Dante Cagle back deep to receive for the Leopards will be Jackson Uselton to kick for the Tigers. As we are set to bring you high school football from the state of Mississippi. It's showtime, kick is away. And it lands in the end zone. Be a touchback. So Ben, we get to see this offense, the one that we uh, we have some confidence in our playmakers. We get to see them right off the bat. Yeah, I think that this is where, you know, if, if we're gonna win the football game, we're probably gonna have to have some success on the offensive side of the ball because I, I think your best chance here against a school this big is to win a game that's fairly high scoring. So. It would be really nice to get off to a good start and look like we're going to start on the left hash. We have a play in mind right out of the gate. There you go. Leopards will take over first and 10 from the 20-yard line. Twins right, split left. Janelle the up back on the right side. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap. Give is to Dupree looking to run. Breaks the first tackle, falls four, going to pick up around four on first down. One thing you don't want the team to do is get frustrated with four-yard runs. I mean, we've been accustomed to – I mean, we, we've got running backs averaging double digits per carry right now. Yeah. Four yards and big boy football, that's a good start. Second and six is a good place to be. Cloud to dust, as they say. Twins right, split left, up backs to each side. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw. Looking for Dupree, and he's got him. He's what got room catch. to run, too. He's at the 40, 45-30, 35-20. 15-10-5, touchdown, Jalen Dupree. Leopards lead. And that, you're going to have to go back and watch this on film. He one-handed it. Cedric did a beautiful job of putting air under the ball, allowing him to run under it. Ced just blew by the guy. And then one-handed, I mean one-handed it. I almost looked like he had to catch it off of his knee. Yeah. And, and bring it into his body. Great concentration. And then once he got in front of everybody, he was not going to get caught from behind. He did. Just struck right through the defense like nobody even saw him. Oziel Martinez on to attempt the point after. Snap was a little bit behind. Timing messed up. Kick is blocked. 11-16 left here in the first quarter. Leopards lead 6-0. We'll be back after this. Welcome, Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Garrett. I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday nights starting at 5 p.m. 
Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! Welcome you back here to Hernando, Mississippi, coming to you live from Anthony Jenkins Field. As the Leopards go two plays, 80 yards, touchdown. Dupree with a four-yard carry, followed by a seam route from the up-back position. Said Simmons lays it right over the shoulder, one-handed catch, as Ben described to you, and uh, he was gone from there. And quick strike. Now we see what the defense can do against this big 6A school from Mississippi. And really, really important for them to know that set, uh, that Dupree is a threat to run routes because if we can keep those safeties back, it's going to help the run game. If we can keep those linebackers honest on the passing game, it's going to help the run game. Oziel Martinez has the ball teed up for the Leopards. Will be Brody Martin back to receive for the Tigers. Kick going to be fielded at the 25, going up the Hernando sideline and drug out of bounds around the 40-yard line. Hernando will take over from there. So a big opportunity for the defense. Your offense came through lightning fast, scored a touchdown. Would be a real nice confidence boost if the defense was able to get off the field. But you can see the size up front. For Hernando, they've got some they got some meat on that interior of their offensive line. Christopher Jones, the quarterback, takes the snap. Going to be a jet sweep like motion to the freshman receiver, and he has got some room. He's at the 20, 10, 5, touchdown Hernando. That is Tommy Brown, as I said, freshman receiver. And he can fly. Absolutely fly. Around the outside, once he got to the edge, he was not going to be caught. And, you know, I just – I mentioned it. We, we feel like we're going to need to score points. We may be in a track meet. We're a minute in, and we have two scores already. Will be Jackson Uselton on to attempt the extra point. Kick is away. And it is good. Like we said, one minute of action gone. Hernando leads 7-6. We'll be back after this. Welcome you back in to Anthony Jenkins Field here in Hernando, Mississippi. Jackson Houston has the ball teed up. Will be Dante Cagle and Jalen Dupree back to receive for the Leopards. Kick is away, it's a good one. Gonna be fielded by Cagle around the seven yard line. He's up over the 20, 25. Fall forward near the 30 yard line. Leopards gonna take over there for their second drive of the night, trailing seven to six. <laughs> there have been three offensive plays and two touchdowns. Yeah. So this is a, this could be a ball game where you do not want to just assume it's first and 10 from the 30 yard line and think this is the time to go make your hot tea. You yeah. need to stick around because the fireworks are coming early and often in this one. Hot tea, huh? It may be a little early in the fall little, yeah, season for that. Yeah, yeah. Make your cold Dr. Pepper. There you go, ice cold. Twins right, split left. Little jet sweep action to Jalen Dupree, looking to make a man miss, gonna fall forward, pick up three or four on first down. Make it first or second and six. And no, no doubt about it, they are making Jalen Dupree a big part of the offense early. Two runs and a pass to him. That's been our offensive place call in the first three plays. Going to stay second six, 34-yard line. Twins right, split left. Up backs on each side, one Dupree, one Janelle. Simmons takes the snap, looking to throw. Going to let one deep and got a man behind everybody, but it's just going to be a little bit overthrown. Cedric Cook found his way behind everybody in the defense. Yeah, there were. he was open. There was a slant that was open, but he actually turned the slant up into like a slant go. 
Sluggo. But the uh, the slant was wide open. If he, if he continues to run that slant, it was wide open, but uh, so was the go. It was. <laughs> so we just just miss him just a little little too far, but you certainly would like to pick up a first down. You don't want to give them the ball back this, this quickly. Third and six, twins to each side. Simmons looking to throw. Caradine, little slant route complete. First down, Malvern. Good snag. There's a lot of zip on that ball. Cedric got it out quick. Ball came out hot. Caradine did a really good job of using his hands, making sure he caught the ball and then bring it into his body. That was a big first down for us. Keeps the chains moving. Be first and 10 from the 45 yard line. Twins right, split left. Janelle the up back on the right side. Dupree gonna be to the right of Simmons. It's a snap, give to Dupree. Makes through the lane, fumbles the ball and Hernando has it. And he's got room to run. Caradine giving chase, able to trip him up and he fumbled the ball but recovers it back harmlessly. Gonna be a turnover there and Hernando's gonna take over around the 27 yard line. Yeah, that was just Dupree fighting for extra yards. It actually worked his way to pick up a nice gain. And while he was fighting, ball got popped out. So now the defense has to bow their neck right here because they've been put in a bad spot. Great hustle by Caradine to save, touchdown saving tackle right there. And actually ball popped out. Could have been something even better, but not to be. Will be Jones at quarterback. Give a little double handoff here. Got some room out to the right side. Finally gonna be brought down inside the 15. That was Tyler Starnes. Really interesting to me that they're attacking the edge. I mean, when you have a size advantage, sometimes you think you're just gonna try to pound the football up the middle. I think that's kind of the way that we've approached defensively is thinking that they're gonna approach the middle, but they've run two plays off the edge, off tackle, and one off tackle, one to the edge. They've had success on both of them. Twins left, split right. Here's the snap, fakes the give, gonna be quarterback Jones, but I think we have a flag, gonna be offsides on Malvern. And it almost looked like the running back was moving forward before the snap also, but that may have been with us in the neutral zone area. Brody Martin is the running back. Gonna stay twins left, split right. First and five from the 13 yard line. Here's the snap, Jones on the keep, looking to get outside, gonna be tripped up. Nice play made by Angel Perez. Looks like he may have picked up one or two. They're gonna give him about three because it, it was a pretty good play, but when it's first and five, you set yourself up with second and two. Call it second and three. Ball on the five yard line. Let there be light. Twins right, split left. Brody Martin to the right of Jones. Fakes the give, now Martin or Jones looking to run. He gets outside, gets forward, touchdown, Hernando. Kind of had visions of the early part of the Glen Rose game. Had opportunities to get him in the backfield, get a big stop, bounce to the outside, and found his way into the end zone. That's going to be a that's going to be an issue because they're going to get their yards. There's no question. When you have an opportunity to bring them to the ground, you're going to have to bring them to the ground. Yeah. Can't give them extra opportunities. Uh, Jackson Uselton on to attempt the extra point. Kick is away. It's good. 8.31 left here in the first quarter. Hernando leads Malvern 14-6. We'll be back after this. From birthdays and weddings to special events, Curiosity's Corner offers a wide selection of customized baked goods and crafts. We are a proud supporter of the Malvern Leopards and Malvern Lady Leopards. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We'd love to make your special occasions even sweeter. Orange Outdoor is ready to serve your outdoor needs at both their Hot Springs and Malvern locations. Orange carries the number one tractor brand in the world, Mahindra, as well as tractors by Coyote, John Deere, Kubota, LT, and Massey Ferguson. For your residential lawn needs, Orange carries zero-turn mowers by Hustler and Spartan. Horn also carries a full line of outdoor power tools. For all of your outdoor needs, visit Horns at 3505 North Highway 171 in Malvern or at 3034 Albert Pike in Hot Springs. 
Welcome you back in to Anthony Jenkins Field. Hernando, Mississippi. Leopards trailing 14 to 6. Uselton has the ball set to kick. Dupree and Cagle back to receive for the Leopards. Kick is away. Going to be fielded by Cagle at the five-yard line. He's up over the 10, 15, 20. Now tries to get to the outside. Ooh. Unable to do so. Going to get the 21-yard line, it looks like. Leopards will take over first and 10 from there. Yeah, if you remember the series where we used to play with Lake Hamilton, that's kind of what we're up against a little bit. Big physical. Now, this team looks to be a lot faster than Lake Hamilton. That's the our the early indications are that this team, yeah. you know, uses a little bit more to the outside. They use a little bit more speed, but same same classification, same uphill battle in terms of just personnel. Malvern comes to the line, twins right. Up back is Janelle on the right side. Dupree to the left of Simmons. First and 10 from the 21-yard line. Give is to Dupree off the right side. He now cuts it up. Finds a little bit of room, so he's going to fall over the 35 down to the 37-yard line. Really nice first carry after the fumble. Got a big chunk of yards right there. And then, boy, did he clamp down on that football <laughs> once he got into traffic. Will be first and 10 for the Leopards on the 37-yard line. Move the Twins over to the left side. Janelle going to be the up back on the left side as well. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Eight minutes here in the first quarter, 14-6 Hernando. Here's the snap give to Dupree again, got some room. He's over the 45-50, now looking to make some men miss out of bounds around the 47-yard line. Another first down, Malvern. Another first down, and they are going to try punishing over the left side of that line. And Reason being, you got some pretty good linemen, including the isolated player of the game, Vinny Winters, creating a lot of space on the left side. And Dupree is taking advantage. Dupree has been on fire to start this game. He has been the bulk of the offense to this point. Will be first and 10 from the 47 yard line. Twins right, Janelle the up back on the right. Dupree to the left of Simmons. Snap, Simmons looking to throw. Forced from the pocket. Now going to just tuck it and look to run. He's going to fall forward over the 45 down to the 44. Picks up about three there on first down. Yeah, they are putting themselves in position where they're, they're challenging us man to man at the wide receiver position. You can see it. They're playing basically cover one man-to-man -man coverage with cover one behind it but that back safety is nowhere near the two wide receivers on the outside so we're going to get one-on-one -on -one matchups with the wide receivers tonight give is to Dupree off the left side going to break a tackle up over the 40 lowers the shoulder runs out of bounds wow that doesn't look like a very favorable spot there did it no they're going to leave him about a yard short it looks like nope they're going to move it I don't know that they waited on the... That was interesting. It may have been that the chain got got moved from where they were originally, but it looked like from where they were at the time of the spot, it was about a yard short, but they went ahead and moved the chain. So I'm going to assume that they just kind of got knocked off kilter and got out of the way of Dupree. We'll bring up first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Twins right, Janelle going to be the up back on the right as well. Debris to the right of Simmons. Snap, fakes the pitch to Dupree. Now Simmons looking to run. He gets upfield, going to be drugged down as he crosses the 35, down to the 34-yard line. 33, 33, 34, somewhere around in there. Yeah, and a very, very physical ball game so far. I mean, you know, our no matter who's running it for us, whether it's Dupree or Simmons, I mean, they're going in, lowering shoulders, and Hernando's coming in, linebackers flying in, safety's coming in over the top. This is this is going to be one of those games where players on both sides are probably going to have to visit whirlpools and ice baths and all that good stuff. Are you saying it's a nice time to uh, have a bye week? It's a slobber knocker game. That's what I'm saying. Good old slobber knocker. Good old slobber knocker. We have an official's timeout here. We'll stay with you. 6.02 left here in the first quarter. Hernando leading 14-6. And really, 
neither offense has been stopped yet other than a turnover. That, you know, really just stopped ourselves one time. Other than that, it's been a uh, an offensive showing or I guess you could say a defensive struggle. Yeah, I would say a little bit of both. <laughs> you know, they go hand in hand. But offensively, I really like what the Leopards are doing right now. And I think defensively, having this long, prolonged drive may give the defense a chance to kind of look things over, give you a couple extra plays to make some adjustments, see if there's anything you can do. Because they're showing us some stuff that we don't normally see. Double handoffs are not very common, and we've already seen well, they did that on the second play of the game. Yeah. They ran like a jet sweep on the, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things sweep. going on, a lot of moving parts. And so, you know, it's one of those things that hopefully over time the defense is going to be able to pick up some things and, uh, and slow them down. But right now, the slow, methodical drive by the offense is exactly what the doctor ordered. Second and five from the 34. Simmons takes the snap, give to Dupree. He cuts up, got some room over the 25-20. Makes another man miss. He may yeah. score. Dupree, touchdown, Malvern. Yeah. And, guys, there's nothing fancy about what we're doing. It's not double handoffs. It's, we ran that same play with Dupree over the left side several times during that drive. And if they're not going to stop it, we're going to keep running it. We will be going for two, try to tie the game here. They're just going to keep pounding it behind that isolated player of the game as long as that play's working and it has worked beautifully in the early going. 5.52 left here in the first quarter. Leopards looking to even the score. This is where you love having a running quarterback, a dynamic running back, and a 6-5 tight end. When you go for two, you have a lot of options. Every play's on the table. Twins left, split right, bring Cook in motion. Simmons going to roll to his Janelle. right, look to throw back. He's got Janelle wide open, and it is complete. The Leopards have tied it up at 14. 5.52 left here in the first quarter. Tie ball game. We'll be back in just a moment. At MNB, we know that every customer is different. That's why we provide one-on-one -on -one guidance from our lending professionals. Our dedicated team understands the importance of taking that next step, and we offer our customers superior financial products and services. Put the strength and stability of MNB to work for you, with loan structures tailored to help you make sound financial decisions. Come see what banking with a real community bank feels like. Visit us online at mnbbank.com. Welcome you back to Anthony Jenkins Field here in Hernando, Mississippi. Leopards take the ball, I believe that time it was 79 yards down the field, ending with a about a 34-yard run from Jalen Dupree and then a two-point conversion pass from Simmons to Janelle to tie the game at 14. And you love to see it because we had Dupree fumble the football. They scored off of that turnover. Dupree did not put his head down. He came in. He made sure he covered up the ball. He had huge chunk plays in the running game. He just picked his head right up, made some big plays for us, and we answered, and that's huge. Martinez's kick is away. Going to be a sky kick. Fielded at the 35-yard line. Looks like it was fair caught. As Malvern's defense has been set, hopefully – Got over there, got to talk with the coaches, made a few adjustments, and see if we can handle this high-powered Hernando offense who has had success in their first two drives. Well, and there's a little bit of shell shock. We have not played a team this fast this year. And, you know, so there is a little bit of an adjustment period when it comes to angles because you have not had to take an angle like we have to take angles today. So that's another thing that probably we're talking about is if a guy gets to the outside, you got to think, your angle's going to be a little different. Hernando going to come to the line, first and 10 from the 32. Twins to each side. Jones the quarterback, Martin to his left. Here's the snap give is to Martin, looking to get upfield. He falls over the 35, down to around the 37-yard line, pick up about five there on first down. I mean, we, we, we've got five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. We're tied at 14. That is a lot of points in six and a half minutes of play. Yeah. I mean, 
These two teams are not wasting time putting points on the board. Second and five. Give to Martin again. Got a chance to make a play in the backfield. Ball comes out. Let Malvin recover. falls on it. We do have a flag down. Well, we're going to need that to be holding, but it looks like they're going to. We were chasing from behind, grabbing the back of the jersey. But the question is, is if he fumbles before he's tackled, is it still a horse call? Well, they've brought the ball back to the original spot, which is, did they wave the flag off? No. Oh, they called a horse collar. I once heard Ron McNamara refer to that as a different term. I'm not sure that that term doesn't apply to that call. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that, number one, if you're stripping the ball, I don't know that you're oh, you bringing just, somebody down. you got to have your by hand the, inside the pads, and it clearly was not. Martin on the – no, it's Jones on the carry. He's going to be stuffed at the line. And a little bit different fire right there by that defense. And so you wonder, okay, maybe maybe you got, got the Leopards mad a little bit with that call. Maybe there's a, a different – Fire burning in the belly. Yeah, that call. I don't. I don't have a lot for that call. Don't agree with it. Twins to each side. Going to be second and nine from the 46-yard line. Martin behind Jones. Here's the snap. Jones looking to throw out. Oh. Almost intercepted. Talon Accord about had reservations for six. Yeah, that that's one where you can chalk that up to the coaching staff doing their due diligence. He jumped that route just a hair, hair late. Look, if he's just a little earlier. Looking for that explosive freshman, Tommy Brown. Twins to each side, third and nine. Here's the snap. Jones looking to throw. Got a man out there. It's going to be complete. Caradine able to make the tackle, but not, after, not until after a first down. That was Tyler Starnes on the reception. Malvern is backing a lot of guys into coverage. And so you're really going to need pressure from the front four. We didn't get it right there. That's one thing we've been really good at. The front four to this point of the year has made, gotten a lot of pressure. That time the quarterback had a nice pocket. Twins to each side. Stick route complete. Nice tackle by Caradine, but that was Hammett on the reception down to the 25-yard line. And it seems like we've, we've done a much better job defending the run on this drive. So, Hernando, kind of like us, if you're going to take something away, they're going to start doing something else. Second and three, twins to each side. Going to be Martin. Fake the give to Martin oh, Jones. Boy. Got some room to run over the 20, 15, 10. Stiff arms a man falls forward. They're going to call it touchdown. And that is a big, strong kid right there. That, that hurts a little bit. You, you feel like you did what you needed to do, force a turnover, have a questionable call not go your way, and Hernando retakes the lead. Uselton on to attempt the extra point. Hold by Kraft. Kick is away. It's good. So with 3.50 left here in the first quarter, Hernando leads Malvern 21-14. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation is here for you. Whether illness or injury sideline you, Encore will tailor a rehabilitation program for your needs. Meet Helen Haley, one of our rehab residents. And what'd you come to Encore for? Because I couldn't walk. How's your experience been here at Encore? It's been, it's been good. They, everybody's good. Everybody treats me good. They feel good. It's just, it's just been, it's been wonderful. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation and the Malvern Leopards, a winning combination. Welcome you back to Anthony Jenkins Field here in Hernando, Mississippi, as we have an offensive battle going on. Hernando has just scored to retake the lead, 21-14, with 3.50 left here in the first quarter. Uselton gets set to kick. Dante Cagle and Jalen Dupree back deep to receive for the Leopards. Kick is away. Going to be fielded by Cagle at the five-yard line over the 10. Looking to get outside, 15, 20, 25. Steps oh, out of bounds. That, that's a late that's hit. That's got to be late, yep, and, and they there did the call. flags fly. He was two or three yards out of bounds when he took the hit. 
And you could almost see that coming. You know, that you could tell that I believe that was number 10, Brody Martin, that uh, delivered that late hit there. And you could just see him. He was not going to slow down. No. <laughs> there was nothing that was going to slow him down. And, and, and a really good job, I think, by the Leopards to not react because it was clearly late. And it would have been pretty easy to get riled up and upset about something like that. But that's one where you understand that the consequence is you're going to be 15 yards from where you are. Yeah. And so don't take that away by getting one on your own. Dante Cagle looks like he might have taken a helmet to the hip. He's slow to get up over on the leopard sideline. Hopefully he will be okay here in a minute. First and 10 from the 44-yard line. Got a receiver split to each side. Janelle the up back on the left. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap give to Dupree. Up the field, going to lower the shoulder, fall forward for about a gain of five on first down, down to the 48-yard line. And that's that same play. You know, we just changed the formation up a little bit. We've been running twins to the right or twins to the left. This time we split them to different sides. It's the exact same play. We don't have a lot of plays, but we have a lot of formations. And that's kind of one of the things we want to do is we want to see how you react to different formations. Different plays may work depending on how you align. And now we've got both wide receivers to the same side. Wouldn't be surprised at all to see Dupree over to that left side. It's been working. Smoke and mirrors. Twins right. Here's the snap. Simmons rolling light looking to throw. Got Dylon Caradine out. Makes the catch. He's going to have enough for the first down. As he gets over the 45 down to the 44-yard line. I really, like it. I really like it when we get set out of the pocket because he's so dynamic. Right there, he had some green space. So if, if Dylon was covered up and he couldn't get it there, he was going to be able to pick up some positive yards with his legs. You know, when you have a guy that can do it all, putting him in position where all those options are available is pretty good play calling, so I like to see it. Twins left now. Janelle going to be the up back on the left side. Dupree to the right of Simmons. First and 10 from the 44-yard line. Here's the snap give to Dupree, looking to run outside. Now going to cut back, makes the first man miss, falls forward over the 40-yard line, going to pick up about four on first down. That's a really, really good decision by Dupree. He was able to kind of put the brakes on and make one cut to the middle, and it was the difference between probably getting stopped at the line of scrimmage or picking up four or five, and he was able to get us some positive yards and put up us in, in a pretty good second down position. I believe it'll be second and six from the 40-yard line. Minute 55 left here in the first quarter. Leopards trail 21-14, but on the move. Trips right. Dupree to the left of Simmons. You're now going to move over to the right side. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw. Got a man across the middle is Junelle. And he and caught man, it. he threaded that needle. And you talk about threading the needle because number 14 had a chance to Knock it down. I believe the backside safety on the other side had a chance to knock it down, but a, a tiny, tiny window, and he was able to thread it through and then give Janelle credit because that's a tough catch. There's a lot of hands, a lot of traffic, yeah. and he was able to keep his eyes on the ball, soft hands, bring it in, keep the chains moving, and the drive alive. Going to be first and 10 from the 26-yard line. Leopard's going to come to the line, twins left. Janelle going to be the up back on the left side. Dupree to the left of Simmons. Snap, Simmons looking to run immediately. Lower shoulder falls over the 25 down to around the 24 yard line. Pick up two or three. We are making some hay off of the left side. No doubt about it. We like the match up there in the trenches. Going to be second and eight from the 24-yard line. Time winding down here in the first quarter. 35 seconds and counting. Leopards look like they may be content to run it down here and use a timeout. Play clock at four. And they will do just that. Game clock is still running. I was going to tell you it was going to be at like 18 seconds, but they've moved it all the way to 14. We'll see if they bump it back up. Leopards Trail 21-14. We'll be back after this. Welcome, Welcome to Larry's. 
Hey guys, my name is Garrett, and I've been coming to Lady's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down, to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday nights starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! Welcome you back here to Anthony Jenkins Field, Hernando, Mississippi. Leopards driving, trying to tie this game at 21. 14.7 seconds left here in the first quarter. Leopards facing a second and eight from the 24 yard line. After the timeout, they're gonna line up in twins right, split left. Janelle gonna be the up back on the right side. Simmons gonna have Dupree to his right. Dupree looks like he's taking the snap. Give his to Simmons. Now Simmons looking to throw back. He's got Dupree. Oh, oh and through his hands. Nicely called play. Dupree was open and had some space in front of him, just unable to bring it in. And that, you know, that's one where if you, you haul it in, you either score a touchdown or you get real close. Yeah. But now we've, we've got third down and we'll call it eight. You got two downs to pick it up. So don't you don't have to feel like you got to get all eight right here. If you've got a five or six yard play in your pocket, that's great. Now, if it goes for eight, that's great too. That is 100%. Twins right, split left. Janelle the up back off the left side. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to run. Got a little bit of a hole. Got some room. Lowers the shoulder. Going to fall forward. Yeah, we just got all eight. Yep, believe we did. Down to around the 12-yard line. We'll be first and 10 for the Leopards. And one of the things that absolutely gives defensive coordinators fits is when you have a running back that's as good as Jalen Dupree and then you match that up with a quarterback that can run like Cedric Simmons because you have to give a lot of deference to Dupree but when that quarterback can take it off, your linebackers are in a real bind. Well, we haven't had much room to breathe here in the first quarter. It's 21-14. It is the end of the first quarter. Leopards trailing, but on the march, trying to even it up. We'll be back after this. Welcome you back here, Anthony Jenkins Field in Hernando, Mississippi. Hernando Tigers lead the Malvern Leopards after 1-21-14 as we get ready to start the second quarter. Leopards at the 12-yard line looking to even this one up. We'll be first and 10. 12 yards to go from a tie ball game, or at least an opportunity to tie the ball game, I should say. If you like offense, this is the game to be watching. Each team has been explosive so far. Going to have a man split to each side. Two up backs, Dupree to the right of Simmons. Give is to Dupree. Dupree bounces it outside. Now going to cut it up, fall forward. Looks like he got over the 10, maybe down to around the eight yard line. Pick up of maybe about four, three or four. Yeah, and you know, they're, they're still having success over that left side. and. That's not going to stop. That's going to continue to be the game plan. And every once in a while, you know, we may sprint right in order to keep everybody honest. But as long as that play's working, we're going to keep doing it. Simmons takes the snap right up the middle. No fooling around. Whoa, and that was a – looked like a pancake block there. And it was. Vinny by Vinny Winters. Simmons gets the ball over the five down to around the four, I believe. And it's real close to a first down. And – so I, I don't anticipate this ball going in the air. The question really is going to be, is this going to be a, a Simmons keeper or handoff to Dupree? I, I almost think this is probably going to be Simmons getting the ball and trying to get it upfield as quickly as possible. We'll call it third and one. Twins right for the Leopards. Takes the snap. Will be Simmons looking to get to the outside. He's, He's in there. He's got enough, I believe. Touchdown, Malvern. Slow signal there. Well, I had the right guy, but I thought it was going to be up the middle, but that was definitely designed to go off tackle. They were flooding the middle. Opened it up to the outside. and 
Looks like now, Le Leopards are going to stay with the two-point conversion to, strategy. To no surprise, it was to the left. Yeah. I think that's exactly what you said. Everybody was expecting that hard-fought one yard, and Simmons shook him up a little bit, bouncing it to the outside. Leopard's going to come out for this two-point conversion attempt. Twins right, split left, up back off the right side. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw slant route Janelle, and he's got it. Leopards take the lead, 22-21. to 10.46 left here in the second quarter. Ben will keep it here. You know, we, we, you don't have lines on high school games, especially now. The Hooten stop, hop, stop picking winners by a certain amount of points. But if there was an over-under, you should have taken the over in this yeah. one because there are a ton of points scored here. This is 22-21. We still have basically 11 minutes left in the first half. I mean, this is it. We thought we might get back at 1 o'clock. Amount of scoring here. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe later. But man, this is exciting football. If you if you love offense, this is definitely the game to tune into. Or if you know somebody that loves offense, yeah. you need to tell them, hey, I got a game for you. Looks like Martin, Starnes, and Brown deep to receive for the Tigers. Ozio Martinez will kick it away for the Leopards. Last time we saw a sky kick, wouldn't be shocked to see more of the same here. See, he has it stepped off, ready to kick away. Kick gonna be fielded at the 30 yard line, gets up over the 35, gonna fall forward to around the 40 yard line. Nice tackle by Talon Accord. Yeah, and obviously when you sky kick, you'd like to get the ball to hang up and up where they call fair catch. The sky part of it. And that's the, yeah, the sky part of it, you know, way up in the sky. But, uh, and one of the reasons we utilize that is when you have a, a team that is this fast and have that many playmakers, sometimes it's easier just to try to get them to, you can get big plays in the kicking game. And if you can try to limit that with a sky kick, sometimes you're, you're willing to give up the five or seven yards on the field. It'll give or Jones will keep here. It tries to make a man miss, and he is flipped. Yeah, that hurt him. I mean, he's he's he immediately grabbed his leg, and you hope it's a like a bruise on the kneecap or something like that. But he is grabbing that thigh or the knee. He is in pain, no doubt. So we we hope this is like a deep thigh bruise type of an issue because you don't like to start dealing with ligaments and things of that nature. He did pick up around seven yards there on first down. Well, they're, they're just stretching, they're stretching him out. out for a cramp, it looks like. Ben, I, I have to tell you, I thought Accord made the tackle on that kickoff. I thought he landed about the 39 and then bounced to the 40, and somehow we ended up marked on the 41-yard line. Coach Plumley showing some sportsmanship, coming to check on the quarterback, offer some water. Well, and, and credit to Christopher Jones, who is their quarterback. He is a physical quarterback. I mean, we have seen him run the football. He runs it extremely hard. We've seen him stiff arm. We've seen him lower the shoulder. I mean, he runs it like a power back. And so you, you hope he's uh, able to walk this off and he is walking. continue playing. Walking off under, well, I don't know if I'd say his own power, but he is putting pressure on both legs, which is a good sign. Looks like Landon Speck will be on to take his spot at quarterback, facing what appears to be about a second and three, long three. Number 12, Landon Speck is in as quarterback for the Tigers. Going to be twins to each side. Martin going to be to the right of Speck. As the snap spec immediately looking to throw. Got his man out there complete. Pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line. That was Justin Hammett on the reception. Ethan Milton on the coverage for the Leopards. 
First and 10 from the 44. Twins to each side. Speck got Martin to the right. Speck looking to throw again. This time going to be pressured, and he just oh. flicks it to Martin. What a heads-up play. Martin's got room to run. See, now breaking tackles. Going to be brought down around the 15-yard line, and, man, Leopard's had him, you might even call, in the grasp. Well, yeah, that, and, you know, it looked like at first oh, they – They're bringing they, it back, Ben. Well – you know, in addition to him being down, and especially with quarterbacks, when you have a quarterback, you want to go ahead and blow the whistle because when they're in the pocket, not acting as a runner, but when they're in the pocket, because their their legs and all those kind of things are in are in dangerous positions. But it almost looked like the rusher's jersey got held from behind. Almost could have called. Because, I mean, you can see the jersey separate from his back. That's that's a generally good indication that somebody had a hold of the jersey. Yeah. Hernando wants an explanation. I, he may have even been down. I mean, it was close. He definitely was – forward progress was stopped. I mean, it, you easily could have called that the whistle, which appears that some form of that has happened and negates what was a heads-up play there by Speck. Well – what? Okay. Oh. Well, we're going to replay the down, I bet. They're going to call inadvertent whistle and replay the down. Welcome to Mississippi. That's what I'm understanding. Well, but they still have second down on the they have the second down on the on the play marker, so uh, to me, that's forward progress. You got to stick with your call. You can't go over to the other coach and then change your mind. That just looks, that's a bad look. Referee backing away from Coach Plumley. He, Coach Plumley, not happy with the explanation, I, nor should he be. Well, there's, there's not a real good one to move the ball back to the original line of scrimmage. Second and 10, Martin gonna be on the carry, gonna be brought down by Luke Wilson after a gain of about three. And so now, is it third down? Because that was a first down play, wasn't it? I don't even pretend to know anymore. Oh, they're gonna, second yeah, down, they're yeah, gonna okay. That's second what, down. So they, they, they blew an inadvertent whistle and replayed the down. That's what happened. Mm. This is where we need those fancy uh, communication boxes with the referees that's, where they tell the people up in the booth what's going on. That's right. Give is going to be to Martin, tries to get to the really outside. Really good up open field tackle. Nagel. Hello, El Angel Perez. El Gallo. And that's oh, a no. guy we haven't heard called tonight. And if we are going to be able to be – Good against the outside run. Angel Perez is probably going to be a big part of that. He's coming up from the safety position right there. Going to make it third and about six from the 40-yard line. Twins each side. Martin to the right of Speck. Speck looking to throw out to his man. Got him complete. See if we can make a tackle. Unable to do so, man. Just ditching and dodging he's gonna score Leopards had him hemmed up unable to bring him down that's Saxton Douglas and he will score for Hernando what a sequence of events I'm sort of speechless yeah you know I don't my mama told me if you can't say anything nice and not say anything at all well, <laughs> that's kind of the way I feel about been, Some things right now. There's so. been two huge calls in this game. Both of them have gone against the Leopards. Uselton on to attempt the extra point. It is good. 8.45 left here in the second quarter. Hernando leads 28-22. We'll be back after this. Farmers Bank and Trust is proud to bring you Casasa. What's Casasa? It's an easy way to earn cash no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy that's actually worth something. 
you do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Kasasa checking. Ask for free Kasasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. Welcome you back to Anthony Jenkins Field here in Hernando, Mississippi. Strange sequence of events leads to Hernando touchdown as they regain the lead 28-22, 8.45 left here in the second quarter. Leopard's going to have Jalen Dupree. And I can't tell who the other one is back to deep to receive. I believe it starts with a two. Yeah. Uselton's kick is away. Going to be fielded at the 10-yard line, up over the 15, now looking to get to the outside. That might be Ethan Milton. He gets over the 20, 21-yard line. Going to be first and 10 for the Leopards. Well, there have been multiple times in this football game where the Leopards have had some adversity, something go against them, sometimes in their control, sometimes out of their control. We're in one where we had some things outside of our control happen. Some things inside our control happened on that last drop. End of the day, they scored a touchdown. This is a chance to respond. We've responded every time tonight. We need to respond yet again. One good new news of note, Dante Cagle is up and moving around the Malvern Leopard sideline. Simmons looking to throw on first down. It's going to be dropped, almost intercepted. I think he just didn't see that man flash right in front of Janelle. No, he didn't. And really, Dylon Caradine had posted up, and he was he was pretty wide open. That was one where if you see Dylon standing all by himself there, he would have been right around the first down marker. So we got away with one. Brings up second and 10 from the 21 yard line. Twins left. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap give is to Dupree. Looking to get up field, bounces off the first set of tacklers, lowers his shoulder over the 25 down to the 26 yard line. Pick up a five there. Gonna bring up a big third and five. Would not at all be surprised to see sprint out action here with Cedric Simmons giving him the opportunity to run or throw it. These mid situations with five to seven yards, this is where Janelle is a big time target. Trips left, here's the snap, Simmons rolling to the left. Airs it out to Caradine, just sells over his head, he was open. Yep, that's one Seb would like to have back and he's pretty upset with himself. Slung it in there pretty hard. Probably didn't have to throw it that hard. Just kind of air melded it. Throwing on the run. Rolling to the, the wrong side. More of a difficult throw. Going to look like we're going to have our first punt of the night as Simmons drop, drops back into punt formation. 7.49 left here in the second quarter. Hernando leads Malvern 28. 22. Well, they're almost inviting us to try to run this up the middle. Simmons, low snap, but punt is going to be away. It's a good punt, lands at the 40, takes a big Malvern bounce. Now to the 30, still rolling forward, 25. Nice punt there by Simmons. This would be a really good time for the Leopards to get their first stop. <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> not, would that, not that there's ever a bad time to get your first stop. But. I would agree with that assessment. But it would be really nice to not allow them to go up two scores. We'll but you, you just feel like you're going to get two or three more possessions, even though there's only 740 left in the half. Very well could. Speck remains at quarterback. Again, Hope Jones is okay. Going to be first and 10 from the 25. Twins right, split left. They're in tight. Or twins to each side in tight. It'll be a jet sweep to the freshman receiver as he's looking to get to the outside. Romir Bennett and Talon Accord going to bring him down, but not before a big gain. Tommy Brown, the receiver's name on the jet sweep. And it, it seems like they may not have lost a lot in the passing game with this quarterback, but I don't know that he is giving them what Christopher Jones gave them in the running game. Yeah. We'll call it second and one 
ball on the 34-yard line. Twins to each side. Here's the snap. High snap over his head. Speck tries to fall on it, and he does. Accord had a beat on it. Nice play by Speck just to keep the drive alive. Make sure that we're not going to call an inadvertent whistle here now on this second and long play. Or a horse collar. There we go. That's going to bring up third and long. Ball all the way back to around the 22-yard line. We'll call it third and 13. Twins to each side. Martin to the right of Speck. Accord coming on a blitz. They're throwing deep. And it sails out of bounds incomplete. Accord comes with the pressure, able to kind of force that bad throw, I believe, Ben. Absolutely, and we needed a big time stop and got a little help from the bad snap, certainly, but that was a an opportune time to get the football back because this is one where you, you just feel like there's going to be a ton of points, but you never want to fall back two touchdowns, especially yeah. when they get the ball to start the second half. Yep. Brody Martin back to kick for the Tigers. Dylon Carradine to receive. Got his feet planted at the 40-yard line for the Leopards. Good snap. Punt away. Angled toward the sideline, but takes a huge Tiger bounce. Man, just tight rope that sideline, too. Going to be down to the 33-yard line where the Leopards will take over there, first and 10. 6-11 left here in the half. Leopards trailing 28-22. So offensively, obviously, not our best series last time, but defense held firm, and you're picking up about where you left off. Yeah. So no harm, no foul. Well, you're going to exchange a couple of punts, get the offense back on the field, have an opportunity to tie or take the lead because down six, I would assume that we are done kicking PATs tonight. It sure seems like we have gone the route of going for two. TBD. First and 10 from the 33. Twins right. Janelle going to be the up back on the right as well. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap. Give is to Dupree. Balls he on the fumbled ground. the ball and Hernando falls on it. That, I don't know that the exchange ever really happened right there. Absolute back-breaking turnover there for the Leopards. And so now the defense once again put, put in a pretty unfortunate circumstance. Defense hopefully playing with a little bit of confidence. We have... Well, we got a media timeout. What are we doing here? An official's timeout. And we'll take it with them. 6.06 left here in the second quarter. Leopards Trail, 28-22. We'll be back after this. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern, or call for an appointment, 501-337-9559. Welcome you back here to Anthony Jenkins Field in Hernando, Mississippi. Leopards turn the ball over, second fumble of the night. Sets Hernando up first and 10 on the 30 yard line. Twins to each side. Speck takes the snap, looking to throw. Stick route got his man. Gonna be hit immediately, but not before a gain of five or six. I believe. I believe that was Ethan Milton on the coverage. Justin Hammett, the reception for the Tigers. Second down and four. Caught a gain of six. Second and four. Ball on the 24 yard line. Twins to each side. Snap, give is to Martin. He gets up field. Big pile falls forward over the 20 yard line. He'll have enough for the first down. Yeah, the offense has really changed for them. Now they're really focusing on a lot of really quick, almost stick routes in the passing game and relying on 
the running back, whereas before Christopher Jones was and was their primary force running the football along with the jet sweeps on the outside. First and 10 from the 19. Speck looking to throw. Steps up into the pocket, going to fall incomplete. Nice pressure there by the Malvern defensive line. He was looking for Tyler Starnes on the crossing route. And again, I think Talon Accord really forced that throw to come out early. He came out like a like a rocket off that off the outside edge. Going to be twins to each side. Second and ten from the 19. Martin to the right of Speck. Here's the snap. Speck looking to throw. Pressured again, and he is going to be brought down by Forrest Landreth. Back near the 30, caught the 29-yard line. Really, really good pressure. We said it at the beginning of the game. If we're going to have success we on the back end, we really need to have some pressure come from that front four. And it's nice to see the defensive line getting some penetration, cause them some trouble, because we don't want to have to blitz the outside backers. We don't want to have to bring safeties up. If we can do it with the front four, be in much better shape. Third and 20, Speck looking to throw again. Now flush, Talon Accord brings him down. Now I'll be interested to see what they decide to do here. This is a very long fourth down situation, but their kicker's got a pretty good leg. He was booming it. He did have a good leg in but the warm-ups. You're, you're almost certainly not going to punt from inside your own 35. Looks like they're going to give it a heave-ho here. Well, I'd look for that freshman receiver, Tommy Brown. I'd throw it up, see if he can't run under it. Caradine, the man marked up on him. Well, we're in cover four, so we're trying to prevent everything deep. He is going to throw deep. It's over, everybody. Incomplete, Leopard defense holds. Really, really good stand by the Malvern defense. Give a lot of credit to that front seven. We're talking about the defensive line and the linebackers. Talon Accord, pressure several times, got a sack. And then Forrest Landreth with a big sack. So it's really, really good to see, you know, those front five, six guys causing havoc. Because we're going to need, I mean, when you got athletic wide receivers, you need those safeties and those corners to be in the back. You need them to be playing, and you don't need to be trying to rush those guys. But that means that those front four defensive linemen, maybe a linebacker, uh, providing some pressure. you got to get pressure with those core guys. 4-12 left here. First and 10 for the Leopards. Ball on the 32. Here's the snap give to Dupree. Off the left side. Now going to cut it up, lower his shoulder. Over the 35, down to the 38-yard line, maybe 37-yard line. And right now, Art Malvern is behind 28-22. There's just under four minutes remaining in the half. They would like to take all four minutes if they could and punch one in. They would like to prevent any sort of offensive opportunity for Hernando after this drive. But mo most importantly, put six points on the board. Second and five from the 37, Twins right, snap. Simmons looking to run, gets upfield, makes the first man miss over the 40. Looks like he's gonna have enough for the first down as he gets down to around the 43 yard line. Really good job there by Dupree. Fake taking the handoff and then he becomes like a fullback. And he comes in there, barrels, clips a guy and opens up a little bit more space for Cedric. Opening up a first down opportunity. 3.20 and counting left here in the first half. Leopards trail 28-22. First and 10 from the 43-yard line. Twins left for the Leopards. Up back is Janelle off the left side. Snap give Dupree off the left side now cuts it up. Not a lot there. He may lose a yard. Yeah, and right now we're starting to see some adjustments made by Hernando. We've been really tearing him up along, those, along the left side, running over Jonathan Wood Woodson and... Vinny Winters, they're starting to overload a little bit over there. So you wonder if we're going to cut back or maybe fake and have Simmons cut out sprint right. There's a lot of different things you can do, but they're really protecting the left side of our line right now. Second and 11, twins right, up back on each side of Simmons. Here's the snap, Simmons looking to throw. Got Caradine on a post route, and man, he was all over his back. Throw made where only Caradine could go down and get it. I thought there was a little bit of early contact there by Wood as Caradine was wearing him as a coat. Yeah, and it's one where 
you know, at the it, length it, of that towel. What towel are we talking about? On wood. It's like a tail. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I just, I've never seen a towel that long. I, I, <laughs> never mind. Third and 11. Ball on the 43. It's Twins like right. Tiger tail. It is. Uh, I see what you did there. Simmons rolling right. Looking to throw. Now going to have to take off. Gets around to the outside. He has a little bit of room now, but runs into his own lineman and thrown down after a gain of about five. Going to bring up a fourth and six or seven. Caught six. Two minutes and counting left here in the second quarter. Yeah, and this is kind of a, you know, Coach Plumley's a little bit of a riverboat gambler. They're going to let this tick down, I'm sure, go all the way inside of about a minute 20 or so, call timeout, and I would imagine we'll punt. But I wouldn't be just shocked to see something else. Play clock now at set. Wait, skip from, I think, nine to seven. Interesting. Leopards will take the timeout. 124 left here in the second quarter. We'll keep it here. Does look like another formation, probably. Probably looking at a possible punt here. Well, they're keeping everybody out there. There's like 45 people in the leopard huddle, so. Everyone's guessing. The, both the offense and the punt team are in the huddle right yeah. now. <laughs> so. Just, you know, got to prepare for everything here. Keep them guessing. I believe Hernando has all three timeouts if we do punt away. They don't really say on their scoreboard how many timeouts are left. And was this our third or second? I believe that was our second. So. Our third? I, I think it was only our second. We had two officials timeouts. If it's your second, you can line up to punt or go for it. And if you don't like what you see, you could. Call timeout again, and it does look like Simmons looks, is he's backing back. up the punt, though. Yeah, Hernando, right now, they're not buying it, though, are they? Content to play defense. Now, now he's going to back up. Wood, call him tails. We just hope we're not chasing his tail after the punt. Well, Sonic was faster than tails back in the day. Simmons punt is away. Going to land at the 30, but take a big Malvern bounce over the 20, 15. Going to be down around the maybe 13, 14 yard line. Minute 14 left in the half. This is where you just want to avoid the big play at all cost. You do, and you know that where I'm going to assume that it's going to be spec at quarterback again. and So you just don't want to let anything get behind you. You want to force them to earn every yard. Hernando comes to the line. Twins right, split left. Up back off the right. It's a fumble on the ground. Speck going to have to just fall on it. Man, we're just waiting for one of those to bounce Malvern's way. Clock going to tick under one minute. Yeah, and at, at this point, I think Hernando is going to be content to try to run this thing out. Twins left, split right. Up back off the left side. Here's the snap give is to Martin up the middle. He is going to be thrown backwards after a gain of a couple. And they shouldn't have to run another play if they don't want to. We'll see. No. Oh, they are going to line up here. At least going to give the appearance of so. 20 seconds left here and counting. They're in no hurry. I think they're just going to walk, gonna walk off. off. Yeah. Well, then they stop. Five seconds. They're going to call timeout. Wow. No, they didn't either. Okay. Or did they? Yeah. 
No, oh, hold on. They did call a timeout. Wow. So they're gonna they're gonna try the hail mary, I guess, from the. Uh, wait, wait, we're, we're this on. close to the band is on the field. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have to back them up. Well, I hope they don't have to back up. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, that, interesting decision. I guess that is what they're going to do. I mean, if they go out and just run the ball, I really don't understand the purpose. But This is where you got to watch for those little trickeration plays, hooking ladders. They got single coverage over there on Tommy Brown. Well, I bet we're going to be in. We're going to be up, running in a deep cover four. So, <laughs> now <laughs> we're calling time. Referee's out. confused about which way he needs to point. So now Malvern's going to take a timeout. That's yeah, almost like the old at the end of a basketball game where you call a timeout and you get yourself set up, and on when you're guarding them you wait to see what they're lining up in then you call timeout and you've got to play for the formation and that right now we're just looking to see who blinks first Hernando Band or who chopping runs out at of the bits <laughs> <laughs> they're ready to get onto the field now this would be one of those instances where if you do throw it up here and something magical happens for Malvern they're able to intercept it and run it back then you walk into the uh you or, walk into the locker room kicking or, yourself. Or a we've bit seen here. one bad snap today. We we'll go over the quarterback's head. I mean, there's there's a number of different things that can happen. I'm definitely not letting anybody get deeper. Deeper than the deepest, as they say. We're not even hiding cover four. That means we we're going to have four guys playing deep zone, just trying to prevent anything from getting in front of you. And that was a lot of drama to take a knee. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see how it pays off for him. It is halftime. Hernando going to go in with a 28-22 lead over the Leopards. Uh, only really three punts here and a couple of fumbles. Other than that, it's been a, uh, a fun first half. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation is here for you. Whether illness or injury sideline you, Encore will tailor a rehabilitation program for your needs. Meet Helen Haley, one of our rehab residents. And what'd you come to Encore for? Because I couldn't walk. How's your experience been here, Encore? It's been, it's been good. They, everybody's good. Everybody treats me good. They feed good. It's just, it's just been, it's been wonderful. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation and the Malvern Leopards, a winning combination. Welcome back here to Anthony Jenkins Field, Hernando, Mississippi. Leopards trailing this one 41 22, 312 left here in the third quarter. Leopards have opportunities in this one. Offense has moved the ball pretty much at will. Just three costly turnovers have really been the thing that slowed down this offense. Useleton on to kick for the Tigers, Dupree. Back deep to receive for the Leopards. This one's going to be fielded by Milton. He's going to get up over the 15, cuts it up over the 20, falls down just short of the 25-yard line, call it 24. So you're sitting here to left with just over three minutes left to go in the third quarter. Leverage down 41 to 22. When here's the, th when you're scoring this many points, when points can be scored this quickly, you don't necessarily have to panic. You, you just have to score on the drive. Yeah, that's the big thing. Score on this drive because you put yourself in position to get off the field with third and longs and second and longs. You just gotta when you have those opportunities, you gotta get off the field. Yeah. Simmons takes a snap pitch out to Dupree. Dupree gets up field, makes a man miss over the 30-yard line, upended close to the first down, going to be about a yard short. And I, that's why I really like that play call right there because you're, you're, you're signaling to the team, 
we're not going to panic. We're going to do what we do. And we got a, there, it's a flag on the backside. They're going to call a hold on the backside of the run. Well, if it was a hold, it had nothing to do with the play. Yeah, absolutely. That's going to make it now a first and 20. First and 20, maybe even longer. Twins to each side. Dupree going to be back on the right side. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw out to Caradine. He's got it. Now trying to get upfield. Going to get down. Almost back to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah. Dupree and 14. So tangled up, they spill into the Malvern sidelines. Brings up second down and 11. Second down and 11. Leopards trail 41-22, 2.15 left here in the third quarter. Twins to each side. Dupree going to be the back for Simmons on the right side. Simmons looking to throw. Fakes the throw out to Caradine now looking for Janelle. He had him, but it's just out of his reach. And you wonder if there may be some remnants of that cramp. Maybe didn't get out of that route as quickly as he would have. It'll be interesting to see how Hernando wants to play this. They've been playing man-to-man -man coverage out to, with the Twins with no safety help at all. And it looks like that's kind of what we're getting here again. Third and 11, Twins to each side for the Leopards. Here's the snap, Simmons looking to throw. Man, that's setting up a screen for Dupree. High and intercepted. Tips right off the hand of Dupree, and he may score. Yeah, I think he will. just kind of snowballed here. That screen play is tricky. You got to get it over the first line of defense coming to you, but still get it low enough where the back can make a play. That time Dupree tried to go up. Unfortunately, tipped it up in the air. Hernando ran under it. And uh, only one man to beat was Simmons into the end zone. Yeah, and, and quick and in a hurry. This thing went from a one score lead to, I don't know. What is 26, 27 got, points going to be? We got math. Uselton's kick is good. That's going to make it 20, 26 point lead, right? Or is that 47? So 25, 48. Point, there we go. Okay, so 26 <laughs> point lead, yeah. 48, 22 for the Hernando Tigers. And, I, I, you know, Ben, you hate to beat a dead horse, but. That's kind of the story of the game. It, uh, they've put the ball on the ground multiple times. Unfortunately, Malvern has not had a chance to come away with it. You had them stop for a punt back there. Sloppy job, not paying attention to the punter. He runs and picks up the first down. You take away the turnovers and that. I mean, this game is neck and neck. And it's really not even that Hernando's not made mistakes. They've made mistakes. They just haven't been... Near as costly. Nearly as costly because, you know, their fumbles have been right next to them and then they've been able to pick it up. Um, unfortunately, when we put the ball on the ground or we put the turnovers that we've had with interceptions, there's no there's no way to come back from that from a, you know, from the perspective of once they intercept it, that's it. Now they got the ball. And our fumbles have been such that we fumble in a crowd whereas they've been fumbling in the backfield or snapping it over the head and yeah. been able to run under it. and there's, Their fumbles really have not even been contested. They've been so kind of out into the open. Kick is away. Looking for Milton again. He's going to field it just short of the 10-yard line, up over the 15, now 20. Drug out of bounds as he gets over the 20 near the 25. Yeah. 
And it will be very interesting to see what our approach is here. Because obviously, you know, you don't want to you don't want to hang this one up, put it in the books, but at the same time, you want to get back to Malvern in one piece. Yeah. As much as you'd love to win this game, it's more important to start winning them two weeks from now when the conference season is upon you. That is 100%. Malvern comes to the line first and 10 from the 23. Twins right, split left. Simmons takes the snap looking to throw Carradine on a slant route. Goes off his fingertips. Would have had some room to run if he caught that, yeah, that one. That kind of looked like a concentration issue. Ball looked like it was in a position to be caught. And, and if he does catch it, it's a foot race. But that's a route that looks like it has been there a lot tonight. We've not thrown it, but it looks like that particular route has been open for us. Yeah. So I wonder if we'll go back to it. Same formation here for the Leopard. Second 10, give his Dupree off the left side. He's got some room. Breaks a man miss, now gonna be dropped around the 43 yard line. First down, Malvern. And at the end of the day, chunk plays are chunk plays. Whether you get them through the run or you get them through the air. Boy, they don't really stop the clock to get the chain set anymore, do they? You, you got, let her run. You got the lead, Ben. <laughs> Going to be first and 10 from the 42-yard line. Twins left, split right. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw, gets it out quick, and it is going to be off. The, that was a miscommunication there. Simmons forced to get it out early, and like Ben said, interesting to see if there was a wrong route there or Just the, the quickness of the rush got to him, forced a decision. It, Will be. It, it kind of looked like Seth thought he was going to stick, but the wide receiver definitely cut in. Going to be second and 10 from the 42 yard line. Minute 10 left here in the third quarter. Leopards trail 48 22. Twins left, split right. Simmons takes the snap, looking to throw. Looking for Caradine deep. Caradine, oh, through his fingertips again. He would have scored again, I believe. Five celebrating like he did something. What he did was get beat. Little stop and go action. The walls of Jericho Smith came tumbling down right there, just unable to come in with the catch. That's Jericho Smith. He, he did bite on the pump. Allowed Caradine to get a step or two on him. Just couldn't haul it in. Third and 10 from the 42. Twins left, split right. Here's a snap, fakes the give to Dupree. Now Simmons is going to try to run. He's going to get to the 45-yard line. Where to bring up fourth down. And punt unit's coming on. I think we wanted a little bit of a unnecessary shove at the end. Going to be Brody Martin back to receive for the Tigers. Said Simmons drops into punt formation. Punt is blocked. Number and 40, Jackson Bearden. And Hernando taking nothing for granted, apparently. They, they came in hot for that punt. Sure did. Despite being up 26. Three guys almost untouched right in Simmons' face. Fourteen point nine seconds left here in the third quarter. Hernando takes over on offense. Specton looks in the throw. Has got a slant route complete down to the ten yard line. Yeah, we got a lot of bodies back there that we don't normally play, so we're playing with a lot of cushion. 
and it's really opened up a lot of that underneath, a lot of those short routes. Interesting to see if they get a play off here. One second. They do get the snap off. Will be Martin looking to run. Now cuts up. He makes a few man miss and he will get into the end zone. Touchdown Tigers. That is going to end the third quarter, but not until the extra point is attempted by Jackson Usleton. Good hold, kick is away. It's good. So we'll be back with the start of the fourth quarter. Leopards trail in this one, 55-22. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern, or call for an appointment, 501-337-9559. Welcome you back here to Anthony Jenkins Field, Hernando, Mississippi. Start of the fourth quarter, Leopards Trail 55-22. I think we had some confusion, forgot we had to switch ends of the field. <laughs> I think both teams forgot that. It is going to be Milton and Dupree back to receive for the Leopards. Usleton on to kick it away for the Hernando Tigers. Kick is away. Dupree going to field it at the 10 yard line. He's up over the 20, 25, right down there. Leopards will take over first and 10. So, Leopards down 33. One thing we don't know about Mississippi rules is, is there a 35 point rule that just does appear that there is. Now we're not two 35 points yet. Hopefully the Leopards will. Clock is running though. Ran the whole time. Maybe it's 30 here. Twins to each side. Dupree gonna be the back to the right of Simmons. First and 10 from the 25 yard line. Simmons looking to throw, looking for Caradine. What a what catch. What a catch. Goes up and high points it over. Two defenders. Gonna be brought down at the 44 yard line. You know, it's a fascinating thing about Young men, you know, there were a couple that he feel like he probably should have hauled in off his fingertips. The slant route probably should have caught. The fade would have been tough. That was the most difficult catch he could have made tonight, and he made it look easy. Stay twins to each side. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Simmons looking to throw. Looking for Janelle down the sideline. Yeah, he just he doesn't look like those wheels are turning as fast as – they did early in the game. You know, he really kind of looked like he was churning to try to get into that wheel route. And that is one thing we talked about at the beginning is the size of this Hernando football team able to play multiple people in different decisions, you know, get more rest. And this Malvern team is battling through injuries and lack of depth as it is. Wears on you as the game goes on. Twins to each side. Dupree going to be the up back on the left side. Second and 10. Simmons takes the snap. Throws it out to uh, Caradine. Caradine over the 50. Going to step out of bounds around the 47-yard line. And here's what you really like to see. You're down 33. They're running the clock. But you got Caradine catching the ball on these little screens, these little short passes, running hard. Still trying to pick up first downs. You have Jalen Dupree being selfless out there, blocking. 
it'd be real easy to kind of tuck your tail and just try to get back home, but these guys are fighting for every yard. Third and one, ball on the 47 yard line. Trips right, split left. Dupree gonna be to the left of Simmons. Here's the snap, Simmons looking to run. Gonna have enough and more. He's over the 30, 25-20, one man to make miss, he does. Touchdown Leopards, what a run by Cedric Simmons. Really, really great answer. You know, we, Malvern School District, we talk about passion, pride, and excellence. Sometimes all those things get tested. Right now the pride's getting tested a little bit. And they come out and they respond. That's what you got to take. If, we, if we're going to put ourselves in a position where we want to try to win a state championship, you got to be able to take one on the chin, get back up, not stay down for 10. <laughs> and uh, really, really good to see out of the Leopards here. Extra point attempt. Ozzie L. Martinez on to kick. Dylon Caradine to hold. Kick is away. That's about the best PAT we've had all year. It's good. So with got into it. 8.02 left here in the fourth quarter, and they're still running the clock even after a score. Well, it's almost 9.45. <laughs> so, I mean. I hear you. Just I'd, I don't see a lot of complaints on our sideline either, though, to be I, fair. I did not brush up, I guess, on my Mississippi high school football rules. Down to 7.25. Leopards trailing this one, 55-29. After the, what was it, about a 46-yard touchdown run by Simmons there? Yes. Yes. I like it. Very firm. Very no agreeable. arguments. There you go. Interestingly enough, this game has been uh, a little chippy for two teams that had no idea that they existed before, yeah. you know, about three months ago. But they've uh, not taken a lot of things lying down, either team. Sky kick there by Martinez, going to be fielded at the 35 yard line. Oh. Big Ooh. boy wanted to return it. He got uh, fit up. He got Travis Kelsade. <laughs> Akir Smith put his helmet right in between that one and nine. Said, you want to think about that again? Then he dropped him rather unceremoniously to the ground, it looked like. Just needed Jim Ross on the call. We're down under six minutes because they've been just clicking the uh, clock after, away. After our score, it's been about three minutes of runoff here. And to the back, he's got nowhere to go as Talon Accord meets him in the backfield. That was Saxton Douglas on the carry. Brings up second down and 11. Second down and 11 for the Tigers. Ball on the 28 yard line, 48 yard line, sorry. Hernando obviously in run out the clock mode. They have a man split, to, oh no, twins left, split right. Back to the right of Speck. Give is to Douglas, looking for room up the middle. Not a whole lot there. Yeah, that was Akir Smith coming around that backside. Did a really good job of not getting too far upfield, but closing, closing down and then pursuing backside. Going to maintain third and 11, ball on the 48-yard line. 
425 and counting left in the ball game. Douglas to the right of Speck. Give is to Douglas up the middle now looking to bounce outside. Romir Bennett finishes off a tackle made. Angel Perez started. Going to bring up about a fourth and five. Looks like the offense is going to stay on the field. They're going to try to get the first down and run out the clock. Down to about three minutes and 40 seconds. We still got nine seconds on the play clock. Twins to each side. Douglas to the right of Speck. Douglas will take the carry. Akir Smith meets him in the backfield. Will be a turnover on downs. Number one, Sexton Douglas on the carry, brought down by number 55. But with the running clock, it'll probably be two and a half minutes before we're even out there to take a play, run a play. Yeah, there's going to be less time than that. Because we look content to have a nice little conversation. Dupree wanted to get back on the field. Coach Plumley said, no, sir. Now, this is one, like Coach Plumley said earlier, uh, you're going to take the field home and you're going to look at this, and what you're going to see is that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a 6A school in Mississippi, and, uh, you know, you take a little bit better care of the ball, and uh, this outcome's in doubt. A lot of positives to build off of this one. Glad to have a week off next week to go back home, get healthier, get ready for conference play. So we kick that off against World Moral. Well, I'm just so loud in here I can't even think. And against Waldron. And you're going to be a lot healthier when we come around and start playing conference opponents. Give is to Ethan Milton. He runs off the right side, going to pick up a couple on first down. I believe that is Ben Rock in at quarterback for the Leopards. Well, they're trying. Yeah. Close enough. Oh. Milton tries to get to the outside, oh. makes the first guy miss. Going to get back to the line of scrimmage before being driven backwards to the ground. Going to bring up a third and eight. And the Leopards in no real hurry to run a play either. I think it's only going to take one more, Ben. <laughs> Twins left, split right. Up back off the right side. Rock takes the snap, give to Milton. Off the right side, makes the first man miss. Gets upfield, going to pick up a couple. Make it a fourth and seven. Most likely going to be the ball game. Well, unless we call timeout to take a knee again. That's how the first half ended. Well, 10 seconds left in this one, Ben. A lot of positives to take away. Go home, get a good film session in next week. Like you said, have a chance to get healthier. Have a couple weeks to prepare, get ready for the start of conference season as the, Rep the Leopards will open up two weeks from tonight in Waldron, Arkansas to begin conference 7-4A play with their eyes still firmly set on a great opportunity at a conference championship, and that is the goal regardless of the outcome tonight. We thank you all for listening to us, for joining us on this long road trip. 
We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. For Ben Dahl, I'm Seth Roberts. Stay classy.